What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing today? Man, we had a fabulous weekend this weekend with the kids. Yes. Uh, we celebrated Abraham's fifth birthday and Julia's 10th birthday this weekend. Ugh. Can't believe we have a kid that's 10 years old. And Double our baby digits. is five. Yeah. I know. Oh, man. I'm glad that we uh, made this move out here. Yeah, me too. They're uh, only going to be kids for not too much longer, unfortunately. I know, unfortunately. Time flies. <sighs> but we had a really great birthday celebration yes. with them. We took them to Fort Smith. We went to Elevate Adventure Park, let them jump around, do some rock climbing. Yep. I mean, it was a really, really great time. Actually, here's some footage. Hey, Abe, how old are you today? Five. Are you a whole hand now? A whole hand? What? How about you, Julia? How old are you today? Two hands. You got your wristband? Should I go right in? Now, Abe, lean back, lean back. Lean, jump up. There you go. There you go. Oh. Woo! Yay! You did it! Can you get back up? Can you get back up? Pull yourself up. Get back up. Get back up. Oh, good job, buddy. Good job. Happy birthday. Grandma's here, let's go show her where to go. Happy birthday, Abe and Julia. Woo! Happy birthday, Abe and Julia. <laughs> Happy birthday, Julia. Happy birthday, Julia. I'm gonna try to get, try to get everybody. 
time with the fam bam on friday and yep. then on saturday it was back to work for us yep. so we were expecting a bunch of rain this week coming up um so we decided to use the beautiful sunshiny days that we're experiencing right now and yesterday this weekend to get some more work done here on the blocks and man it looks so good let's just uh show you what we did on saturday as you guys can see gary is back already eager beaver getting it uh we mixed up the mud he checked the lines and we are now working on the ninth row again for the 12 inch block. So we got it last time you guys saw, he went ahead and we did eight and nine and he started right there, went all the way over here and he finished there. Today, what we're gonna try to do is finish out the nine of the 12s going all the way around. We may start the eights going that way as well. So we're trying to get everything 10 high so we can go out and get those headers for the windows and the doors, pop those things in, three more up, and it's go time. I'm gonna go ahead and get down there and start doing my job, joining and cleaning and making sure that his mud pan is nice and mudded and he has everything that he needs so we can get this job done, so. You ready, baby? You. Yeah. You in the zone? I'm in the zone. <laughs> All right. Get it.
guys, we uh, got a whole nother block up and check it out. <sighs> ba bum. We are now six feet on all walls. Yep. That's crazy. So guys, check it out what we got done, man. Uh, we have made it all the way to nine blocks high. So we obviously still have to go one more block up and then the whole thing is going to be the same height all the way around. Uh, but yeah, where Gary's at, that's 10, 10 blocks high. This right here is where it's nine. So we were able to complete the 12 inch block all the way around. We completed the eight inch block in the center and in the front. So uh, today, what were you working on, Gary? So I had to make a couple of cuts because I know I'm going to have to start on a half block for the 12, 12 inch blocks. And I had to start with a, another half block for the eight inch over there. So knew I needed those cuts. Might as well make it now. That prep work is always key as well as I had to get the string line marked, get it all figured out, plumbed everything else, tighten up the string line and get all the dura wire in there. So we are at the spot where dura wire is going to go in. And then once I put this block in, that's going to be sandwiching that dura wire. And like I said, that dura wire is helping keep the plumbness of the walls as well as strengthen, strengthen the wall, as well as tie in all the rebar going down. For the folks at home that don't know what you're talking about, here Gary, show them what dura wire is. You can see all that wire up there. Got to get it cut just right. Got to get in there. So yeah, every two feet, you got to put that in there, at least for code for here. It might be different. It might be every two courses where you are. Look at the code and see what it is. For our code, that is what it is. And we got rebar going every fourth cell. These cells right here. These are, so rebar, rebar. Yep. Yep. So we did a ton of work, we had a ton of fun, and it was a really, really great weekend. Yes. Uh, Gary got all the prep work done so we can start hitting it again. Uh, this week coming up, we are gonna be purchasing the headers for the doors and the windows, and we're gonna try to get all that installed as soon as possible. So, yes. I mean, we've got a lot on our plate right now, but we are super duper close to the finish line. Uh, we're basically 10 in a lot of spots, like right here, there's 10 blocks high. Uh, but we got to finish going 10 all the way on the 12s and then right here in the center. But once we do finish going 10 blocks high everywhere, we just have three rows left and that's it. So we are inching closer and closer to the finish line every single day. And uh, me and Gary, we just both were so beat and we cannot yes. wait to be done with this block work. It's been a marathon for sure. Yes, like no tomorrow. But... It's getting there and this once we get up to 10 it's the headers yep get those in and go 11 high all around and then we go to 12 and then more dura wire and then put in another bond beam right there and we're done yes. concrete. i can't wait <laughs> we're so close uh we're gonna be doing a lot of other things this week we're gonna have to go shopping for those headers we're Gonna be probably honestly trying to rest up as much as we can while the weather is bad because we are so exhausted. And um, we're gonna we're gonna bring you along with as much as we possibly can. But this week I am actually thanking God that we're gonna be getting all of that rain. He definitely knew that uh, we needed this rest. So yes. we'll see how it plays out. We're gonna work if the sun is shining, but if it's raining, we're gonna take that opportunity to just relax because yes. our bones and our bodies definitely need it. But um, we're going to call this one a video for you guys for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. I would love for you guys to subscribe if you guys have not yet subscribed. Make sure to hit the notification bell, the like, comment, all that good stuff, guys. We truly love y'all. And until the next one, we hope you have a good one. We'll catch y'all on the next one, you guys. Bye, you guys. Later, later.